I already have my brows, foundation, contour, highlight and concealing done. Um, I also have my eyes prepped and primed so we're gonna go straight into the eyeshadows. I'm starting off with soft brown in the crease and I'm gonna use a diffused crease brush by Sigma the 338. I really want this super buffed out so I'm not worrying about getting it on the lid at all. I'm talking super soft because it's like 6.30 in the morning so I'm trying to be quiet. I'll link down below my full coverage foundation routine because that's exactly how I did it this morning. I love soft brown for the crease. It just is a really a good transition color. I love it. I'm just gonna keep with the MAC theme and go with Saddle. And the brush that I'm gonna use it with is the Small Tapered Blending E45. And it's just, it looks like that. And I'm just going to apply this to right in the crease. So not above it like I did with soft brown, just right inside. Right in it. And I'm just going to further blend that out with the same diffused crease brush. That's just going to blend out the edges and make those two colours blend better. I know I've done this look like 10 million times. Probably not exactly the same, but you know, warm eyes. But you know, it's just, I just love it. It's flattering, you know. I'm going to use a shimmery colour on the lid, Honey Lust from MAC. And to apply it, I'm going to use a Morphe M433 brush. You can apply these shadows wet or dry. I'm just applying it dry. But yeah, you can wet your brush with like a makeup spray and apply it wet for more pigmentation. There is that brush here. With glittery products, you want to make sure you you know, swirl your brush in and then tap it off as well because you don't want fallout all over your face, especially if you've done your makeup already. I feel so white. I'm using the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara to coat my lashes before I apply false lashes. I'm just going to finish off the lower lash line and smoke out that soft brown just under the eye. Really close to the lash line I'm going to apply Saddle with a soft paint liner brush from Zoeva 318 and as I said just really close to the lash line. And then I'm going to take Nylon from MAC and Domed Utility from Sigma, the three, the E34, and I'm going to apply that to the inner corner. Just going to bring it down a little bit as well on the lower inner corner. Just really make that inner corner pop. I'm going to apply a coat of mascara to the lower lash line as well. For lashes, I'm going to use this gorgeous pair from Velour called Lash in the City. They're so pretty. So obviously these don't fit my eyes because, yeah, just look at that. i got to take off like a little bit, so gonna do that. I always cut my lashes because 
they're not made for they're made for bigger eyes and then you just cut them to the length of your own eye when I was younger I used to just wear lashes straight from the packet I never used to cut them or shape them to my eye how embarrassing I have to say, lashes are probably the easiest to apply for me, I find, because the band's thicker and it's kind of already shaped to your eye. So you literally just pop them on very, very easily. See? I'm going to apply Fascinating from MAC just in the waterline to open up my eyes. For lips, I'm using the new colour from Anastasia Beverly Hills called Veronica. 